Thank you for joining me for another Pat Tang property tour. Today we're checking out Santiago, built by Toll Brothers. As we enter the foyer, we will make a left and another left to enter our office. Right away, big fan of the chandelier, the accent wall, floating shelves, and cabinets. This room can be used as an optional guest suite and has been done very nicely with a two-tone paint and thick baseboard. Our next room over, we have our first bedroom with a coffered ceiling. I like that the connected bathroom is fully tiled from top to bottom, which matches our vanity and brushed nickel hardware. This room does have a walk-in closet that is approximately seven by five feet. And again, the builder continues with the two-tone paint, thick baseboards and casing, which are attributes found in many modern homes today. As we leave our bedroom back towards the foyer, it's worth noting that we have this elegant, large stack stone wall with a powder room located in the center. Notable features include the designer wallpaper, pedestal sink, and that dude in the mirror. <laughs> Let's head back out now, where we can see our luxurious crystal chandelier, the catwalk upstairs, a peek at our floating staircase, and this great room. Now, this is the epitome of a great room. Love the mantel with the built-in for your TV, the linear gas fireplace, which means we don't need a chimney, and these designer wood grain elements in the ceiling. Next to our great room is the dining area, followed by our kitchen. I really like this reverse tray ceiling and the large island with a stainless steel undermounted sink, two dishwashers, and plenty of storage. We have a professional grade Wolf 6 burner and hood. And as expected, a home of its caliber always comes with soft closing drawers and cabinets. From this view, we can see our built-in refrigerator, microwave, oven, and warmer. Next to our kitchen, we have what may be considered the butler pantry or the prep kitchen, which is another reminder that this home is built for entertaining. Lots and lots of storage space. I do like that this room offers a stovetop, double basin sink, dishwasher, extra fridge, and access to our two-car garage. As we head back out, we can see our wet bar with a small sink and wine fridge. The countertop makes it as if you had your own little bar, which again is great for entertaining. Here is a look at how everything flows together before we head out to the fun part, the backyard. The first thing that pops out is this knife edge pool, where the pool coping blends seamlessly with our outdoor flooring. We have plenty of seating and this backyard does come equipped with an outdoor barbecue, fireplace, and TV. This isn't just any regular pool, this is a wraparound pool, beautifully designed with our spa located in the center. Oh, wow, imagine unwinding here. Let's make our way back inside now and upstairs. I love that we have this catwalk with a glass railing that allows us to look down below. Now let's make our way to the bedroom closest to the staircase. Very cool palm tree details in the ceiling. This room is sized to be 13 by 11 feet and it comes with a small sliding closet and full bath. It looks like we have a fiberglass tub and I really enjoy the tiling done here from top to bottom. Here's one more look at our bedroom coming out of the bathroom. Our next room over is just down the hall and to the right. It is fairly comparable in size to our previous bedroom measuring 14 by 11 feet. I like that this room gets a lot of natural sunlight. Here's a look at our bathroom. We have a fiberglass bathtub with the use of multiple tiles. And we also have a single vanity done in the same fashion as the ones we have seen previously. We have a sliding closet and that will do it for this room. Our next bedroom over is something I see in quite a few Toll Brothers home to attract the kids. We have this fun built in similar size sliding closet and another bathroom in this bedroom as well. I really like this Chevron tiling which is also used behind this frameless mirror. This creates a very attractive cohesion. Our next room over is used as a loft, but can also be turned into an optional bedroom. At 17 and a half by 15 feet, it is well-sized. 
I like this built-in with the dual mini fridges and the implementation of the mini windows that allow the room to naturally light up. Our next room over is the laundry room. What are your thoughts on having the laundry room upstairs? I personally like it since it's closer to the bedrooms. Here we go, our master bedroom. As we walk in, we have some storage space on the right. And let's go ahead and walk past our bedroom first and check out the actual room. Love the chandelier, the can lighting, and the backlit details in the ceiling. This room is approximately 20 by 17 feet, so by far the biggest room, and rightly so. We have a great balance of color here, from the accent wall, two-tone paint, and how it's decorated. Just amazing. Our master bath is super impressive as well. We have two vanities separated by a tub. Check out this walk-in closet. Insane. This room measures 16.4 feet by 12.1 feet, which means it's bigger than all the bedroom upstairs. I love the abundance of closets and drawers, all backlit. I feel like I'm at a boutique store right now, especially with the chandelier in this room. I really like the shower with the frameless glass surrounding it, and of course you already know, I have to test it out. It has my approval. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to like and subscribe, and until next time, have an awesome one.